Are you letting the buyers determine fair market value for your home? Hey, thanks for tuning back in. My name is Robert Mack, and today I want to talk to you guys a little bit about allowing the buyers to determine what they feel is fair market value. So how do you do that? Well, traditionally, as a home seller, you meet with an agent, you look at the neighborhood, comparable sales, you look at what your current competition is, you consider the aspects of the market in your area, um, you consider the interest rates, and you generally come up with a price um, that you think your home is worth. Now, we all already know a home is worth whatever a buyer is willing to pay for it. If you think your home is worth a million and you can't get anyone to pay a million, then it's not worth a million in anyone else's eyes. Maybe yours, and then you'll ultimately be the highest bidder because you're not gonna be able to sell it. But if you have to sell it, you have to come up with a price that you think the home will sell for based on what a buyer thinks it's gonna be worth. So let me add some color to this situation. A lot of times when, you know, if you've been to an auction before, you may have noticed that sometimes the auction gets a bit heated and there's a bit of ego involved and people get competitive. And when they get competitive, sometimes they lose focus on what's most important. Many people go to auctions looking for great deals. Many people leave auctions paying a premium for something that they really wanted, maybe even more than what they wanted because of the transparent bidding. There is somebody in this room that's willing to pay $5,000 more than what I'm willing to pay, so I am gonna pay $5,000 more than what they wanna pay, right? There is this comp competitive aspect when you're dealing with an auction style sales process, very similar to the multiple offer system. So, in a nutshell, what we love to do in a market that's on fire, like the one we're in, is to give the buyers the ability to determine what they feel is market value. How do we do that? We price the home slightly aggressively, and in my opinion, below fair market value, right? Because what's gonna happen here? Once that home gets listed, everyone's gonna see the price, and the price is the bait to get the buyer in. Right? It may not be necessarily what the home sells for, but how? what's the best way to get people to your sale is by dangling a carrot right, to show them, hey, you could be missing out on a huge opportunity if you don't come by. That attracts the masses, you generate multiple offers, and the bidding war commences. Many times, we have been able to sell homes for more than what we even thought they were worth on paper. Um, but through the bidding process, through the multiple offer process, through the competitive nature of the different buyers, through the fact that the market has low inventory, because the interest rates are so great, buyers just want to make sure they get into the right home and they're willing to pay a little bit more if they have to, if there is competition. And folks, there is a lot of competition. So if you want to sell your home for the absolute best price and secure a buyer that feels comfortable paying the price that they're offering to you, our approach is always to recommend you price the home attractively, make it show great, attract the masses, create a bidding war, and then ultimately select the highest and best offer in, in terms of price and terms. I hope you guys found value in that. If you're thinking about selling your property, uh, whether you're in my area or not, I hope this information brought value to you. Uh, if you found this video on social media, give me some social media love. If you are thinking about selling your property, whether you're in Orange County or you're not, and you just want to talk to somebody that you feel like you can trust uh, about what the next steps are, I'm an open book. I'd love the opportunity to chat with you. I have many referral partners across the country that I can send you to if you're not in my area. And if you ever have any video ideas you want me to expand on in the future, send those my way as well. Until then, happy selling.